Hello everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome one and all. Okay, uh, we're rewinding a little bit here in King's Quest 6 because I remembered something. And by remembered, I mean I read the comments and learned another little trick I could do here with Kasima. Now, I, I thought this is only something you could do when you do the short ending. Because, or the, the bad ending, well, short slash bad, whatever, it's a happy ending either way, you get married, whatever. And there's another little thing you can give Kasima. But if you talk to her now, like as soon as you come up the stairs and you do your thing, then she's gone and you can't do it. So you actually have to ignore Kasima's wailing. Alexander? And there's a Hazred, we can ignore him too. And we just come right into his little bedroom here. And also, one thing I did notice while I was going back and testing this, that if you go into the screen and turn it to, uh just text it automatically reverts back to the old school uh uh pictures like the portraits not the high res ones so pretty much everything that the windows version gave you you basically just turn off all right so we'll get his letter and we'll learn the word zabu all right so just so we got the points for listening to ahaz red and got the plot what? moving around a little bit we went through his little scene so now we're back at kasima you went to her and like oh goodness someone's crying whoever could it be so now, just on my knowledge of the game, here's the letter that we just got from his trunk sort of implicating al Hazred in pretty much everything. And this is what we give to Captain Saladin to prove that, oh, goodness, something really is wrong. Maybe I shouldn't run you through with my sword. But you can also give this to Kasima to, as if she didn't know, prove that the evil vizier is indeed evil. I found this letter in the vizier's bedroom. I, I think you should know what it says. Such a great look. I can't believe it! I had my suspicions, but this confirms everything. Alexander, you must keep the letter. He might have a chance to show it to someone who can help you stop Alhazred. Just be careful. And I believe we've what? done everything that we need to do, so now we're right back where we were. Time to bust ourselves up a wedding. Oh, hi, Captain Saladin with a sword at my throat. Here, I have some correspondence for you that will you will find most interesting. Wait! If you love your princess, you'll hear me out. The Wazir is not what he appears to be. Kasima is in terrible danger. I have proof that this is so. For your princess's sake, you must believe me. Let me see that. Saladin reads the letter, his sword points still against Alexander's throat. Alexander watches the guard dog's noble face darken with rage. Mm, this is treason. I'll have his throat. But how do I know this letter is not a forgery? You could have written this yourself. But I did not. Have you no doubts of your own about our Hazred? Don't you see? All he wants is the crown. Kasima is being coerced. We must stop the wedding. It is true. I have had my suspicions about the Wazir, especially when King Caliphim and Queen Alaria died. Oh, story about that. But I have seen Kasima with him several times. She appears to be quite happy, even enthusiastic. I don't believe she could love him if he truly were so wicked. I cannot believe for a moment that she loves that snake. A jilted lover would not believe it. But come, see for yourself. This is a bad idea, Saladin. The captain of the guard leads Alexander into the throne room, where a ceremony seems to be in progress. Alexander feels his blood run cold at the sight. I, Kasima, declare Abdul Alhazred as my lawful and beloved husband and king of this realm. But what a strange Kasima. read. What are you saying? Do you still claim that the princess is being forced? Perhaps it's you that's the danger, as the wazir has said. Now, at this point, I think you can do several things. I wonder, I've never actually done it, but I wonder if you just wait long enough if the wedding just proceeds as usual and it's a game over. Let's find out. If you refuse to defend yourself, you must have faked the letter. Since you cannot prove your point, I shall prove mine. Don't kill me right here in the hall. Uh, you ruined the wedding. Oh, the blood. Tickets. Oh. Next. 
She loves me. She loves me not. Hmm, something foul is afoot. Okay, so we figured that out the hard way. Now, this is kind of like when we were at the Minotaur. No matter what we do or say, I think we'll have the same reaction. So we can either talk to the priest and like, stop the wedding, or talk to Kasima like, what are you doing? Or talk to Alhazred like, you fiend, you blaggard. <laughs> Maybe we can talk to Saladin. I don't think I've ever tried that. I'm certain that Kasima cannot mean what she's saying. So you say. I would advise you to prove it, if you can. And quickly! Hold, villain! You shall not marry the princess! Ah! So forceful! Prince Alexander here? This is an outrage! How dare you allow this traitor to get past you, Saladin! You stupid mutt! Can't you even keep the castle free of assassins during your own princess's wedding? Kill him! Kill him now! Lord Alhazred, with all due respect, you are not quite king yet. And this is a wedding ceremony, not an execution. What? How dare you contradict me, you flea-bitten mongrel! I gave a direct order. Obey me, or feel my wrath! Milady, I apologize for my behavior, but I am yours to command in all things. I wanted merely to hear your own wishes from your own lips. Tell me what it is that you wish me to do with this young man, and I will obey. Why, Captain, oh. you heard my dear Abdul. Look at if he wishes eyes. this atrocious young man's death, then I want nothing more than to see him get his wish. Obey thy liege now and always. As you wish, princess. Oh, he's so sad. Just as Saladin prepares to run Alexander through with his sword, a shout is heard from the direction of the Grand Hall. Hold! In the name of the true king! Oh, drama's getting deep now. King Caliphim and Queen Alaria burst into the throne room, looking alive and well, and full of wrath. Behind them, a line of supporters look prepared to battle, if necessary, for their beloved royal couple. Kasima, darling, are you all right? Has he hurt you? Hands off of her, you murderous goat! If I want your advice, I'll ask for it, mother. But, Caliphim, that's not Kasima. I'd know my daughter anywhere. What have you done with our daughter, you devil? The lovely image of Kasima suddenly bursts into smoke and is replaced by the Wazir's genie. <gasps> Shock and all! Who saw that coming? Besides everyone. Why, you, you conniving serpent! Get him, guards! Saladin, your sword! Drat it all! You may have ruined my plans, but you won't get me or your precious Kasima. Get them, Shamir! I command you! He's getting away! Stop him! Yes, sire! As soon as I deal with this genie! Okay, so, pause in the action here. Oh, they look so frightened over there. This is so sad. Now, I thought I remembered, maybe it depends on the way you deal with it or the ending that you're going for, the short or the long ending, but I thought you used the mirror on him and that's the whole point. No, 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 wait, we can't because we went to the underworld. Oh, got it. And the mirror would have shown his true self. Okay, well, spoilers for the short ending. Sorry. Shamir, the wazir's genie, begins to throw balls of dazzling light at the guard dogs. I don't believe there's anything we can legitimately do about the genie right now. Oh, God, oh, down, down he goes. Saladin is busy battling the magic wielding he genie. He is not busy at all. He is on the floor. Saladin, get up! Alexander can't help the guard dogs in their battle against the genie. The wazir is getting away. Genie, can we talk about this? Alexander doesn't have time to deal with the genie now. Alhazred has left the throne room and may be on his way to the real Kasima. This really makes this genie seem a lot more powerful than he actually... Oh, okay. So, we remember from back when he was uh, the Black Cloak Man, he has a uh, an affinity for mint. So, let's say what happens if we give him the mint. Maybe that will distract him. Alexander doesn't have no, time. No, okay, fine. Gotta go. Bye. Good luck. Uh, there he goes. And actually, since you're already in such a rush around here, it's kind of nice to just take a look around. Alexander is standing in a beautiful round tower. Stairs lead upward, spiraling towards the top of the tower. 
and Al Hazred. See, it's such a pretty screen, but you only see it for like a few seconds because you're rushing upstairs. A staircase spirals up to the next floor of the tower. Stop and smell the roses, Alex. Alexander. Alexander. Al Hazred, you coward, come back here! There is no reply from the coward or anyone else. All right, Al, get back here. Oh, another identical room. Oh, nah, it's all the same stuff here. All right, fine. Let me guess what this room looks like. Oh, it's the same. Sort of. That's convenient. Alexander, be careful. Al Hazard has a sword. Shut up, wench. Shamir Shamazel, get in here. I heard you. Here I am, master. It's about time, you bumbling fool. How could you let him follow me? Well, there were the guard dogs, master, and then... Never mind! Just kill him! Kill him now! <sighs> As you wish, master. Oh, I'm sensing some resignation from, uh... Razzle, dazzle, snap and snazzle! You'd have to go through all this nonsense when you're killing the guard dogs. Alexander, I did it! I swapped the lamps! Here, quick, take it! Everyone cease fire for Jalo, please. Hang Bless on. Bless you, Jalo. I knew you could do it. Now get clear, friend. No argument there, my lord. Good luck! Shoot the clown! Do it! Okay, so now there's a couple things we can do. Um, I'm gonna save the mint for the bad ending, because if you give him the mint, he gets drunk and some really awful things happen. So we're gonna save that, and we're gonna do the nice thing, because the genie does not seem to be to want to be in Alhazard's power, so let's be his new master. Alexander has the genie's lamp. Alexander rubs the lamp. But nothing happens. The genie must be out at the moment. <laughs> I wonder where he could be. There is nobody home right now. All right, fine. Here you go, genie. We are your master now. Yeah, just long wind up. You ever gonna pitch? You gonna bark all day, little doggy? Or you gonna bite? Send a ball of light to frazzle. There it is. <laughs> The Dazzle Ball hits Alexander. It did. Oh, Alexander! No! Oh, that's so sad. They give you a special little ending just for dying okay. in front of Kasima. Oh. Okay, and then back in the original universe. Shamir Shamazel, hold your spells. I am your master now. I order you to go back into your lamp. How did you get my lamp? You thief! You... You... you've ruined me! My lamp! Oh, thank Balhalla! I hated working for that loathsome creature. I already feel his nastiness leaving me. How I've longed for a master like you. Yeah, shut up. Get your bottle. I've got a new master. I've got a new master. I love that. Uh-oh. I think I made him even angrier. <laughs> Uh-oh. Dink, dink, dink. Crack, So dead. you are a thief as well, Alexander. Stealing the lamp was very clever. I'll grant you that. But I am the master thief. Face my sword if you dare. The man left standing shall have the lamp. So shall it be, Alhazred. I don't need the genie to deal with a coward like you. He's not being very cowardly. He's threatening you with a sword. I think he's got more cojones than you do, my friend. Kasima, you alright? Don't be afraid, princess. I trust you, Alexander. But please, be careful. I'm fine. Calling to the four winds will not help Alexander in his final battle. Alright, now there's obviously the sword there, but... Whoop, it, whoop, it, oh, that's everything's fine. Alexander! Fine. No! Alright, well that happened quickly. There's our one chance to look around in here and I'm not wasting it. Long peaked windows <laughs> overlook so the, the sea below. I was like, oh god, there's a guy pointing a sword at you. Alexander's Long peaked no windows are lovely, though. You. Oh, okay, all right, sorry, bye. Alexander. It seems that Alexander is to face his destiny, for good or ill, in this round room at the top of the castle's grand tower. So this is where Alhazred stashed the real Cosima during the wedding ceremony. She struggles against her bonds, but thankfully doesn't seem to be harmed. There's a door on the west side of the round tower. Ah, oh, that's enough looking around. Let's see what else we can do. Alhazred still stands between Alexander and Kasima. Alexander cannot reach the princess unless he deals with the wazir first. Alexander's bare hands would have little chance against Alhazred's sword. 
Oh man, if I only haven't given away my dagger. Oh, I can't use my inventory at all. Well, that sucks. What's this? A very large, ornate ceremonial sword has been mounted on the wall. Inspiration. Alexander fixes upon the only weapon in sight. We got this. Oh, oh, oh God. Zounds! This sword must weigh a ton. <laughs> Good. Then you shall only fail sooner, my prince. Well, thank you for giving me the time to, like, grab a sword. You are an honorable opponent. Okay, so my walk icon is now a sword. That's all I can do. Calling to the... F all right, I can't talk my way out of this one. On guard. So, the mouse would bite? This mouse shall bite, as you shall soon see. Or should I say, soon feel? He would suck at insult sword fighting. Ah, uh, get him, Alexander. Ha! You can barely lift that sword, my... Prince, better to lay it down now. I promise to dispatch you with little pain. A tempting offer, but I think I'll wait and see what this sword can do. Suit yourself. I can't believe after how nimble he was, uh, Hazard hasn't torn me to pieces by now with this gigantic sword. Oh, ow, touche. This is all like mocap too. This is all like rotoscoped animation too. I love it. Kasima, how you doing over there, babe? Ugh, I got this. Don't even worry about me. What about that oh, dagger I gave you? Ugh. Come on, anytime now. There you go. I need your help. Help me. Alexander's arms start to tremble under the effort of wielding the huge sword. His muscles are nearing exhaustion. And so it ends. Not if I can help it, you murderer. Cosima oh. thrusts the small dagger into Alhazred's shoulder with all her might. No, the, the back, the heart, ah! lady. You missed the neck, you, the top of the head. You dare raise a finger to me? You will regret that, princess. Good job, Cosima. So this is... I'm going to give her some... Up. Oh. But I forget. I stalk a kitten and turn my back to a lion. It wouldn't do to let you gather your strength again, my prince. Alhazred finishes off Alexander with one swipe of his sword. Sword. Oh, that was a slice, too. Forgive me, Kasima. Alexander! No! I mean, it's kind of a sad ending because Alex dies, but essentially the kingdom is Chicken. safe. Well, no, I guess he would just go downstairs to get the genie back, wouldn't he? Oh, that's that's rough. Touche. All right, so the reason, that's a, wholly a distraction. So now that we have him distracted for a split second, you have like a, a single minute, not even, about five seconds, to clonk him on the head. That would serve no purpose. That would serve all the purposes. But I oh, God damn it! Uh, aim was off. Alexander sees no use for that item there. What are you talking about? The sword? There's no reason. What? But I forget. Uh oh, this I'll is a bad bug. That would. There we go. I like how you don't kill him and just sort of knock him unconscious. I think that's cute. Coming, Kasima. Hang on. You doing all right? Kasima, are you all right? I'm fine, Alexander. I was just so afraid for you. There's no need to fear anymore, princess. Yes, I know. Yeah, I got it. How can I ever repay you? For myself, for my kingdom. Kisses. It was not in me to let harm come to you. Can you find it in you, princess, to give me more than your gratitude? Whoa, that's forward. Alexander, what are you saying? Right here, right on his I corpse. I love you, Kasima. Would you ever consider... Do you think you could... Smooth. Marry me? Could you ever have doubted it, my prince? We don't know each other. Uh, okay. That's kind of sweet. Uh, uh -huh. Oh! Guards! Nothing. Princess Kasima, are you well? I'm quite well, thank you. Please take Abdul and put him in the dungeon. See to it that he gets a doctor. Yes, Majesty. I like how he just sort of saunters away. Like, nothing to say. He's just like, well, I guess that's it for me. 
I'll just take my jingly jangly shoes downstairs then. Then again, we did throw the genie bottle downstairs, so if he was wise, he could just kind of scoop it up while he's walking and be all like, ha ha! But he doesn't. We never see him again. Kasima and Alexander ask Captain Saladin to perform their wedding ceremony. Saladin is honored to do so. On this historical day of great joy in the land of the Green Isles, we witness the union of Kasima, beloved princess of this realm, and Alexander, Prince of Daventry. Do you, Prince Alexander of Daventry, take Princess Kasima to be your wife, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live? I do. And do you, Princess Kasima of the Land of the Green Isles, take Prince Alexander to be your husband, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you have a ring? Uh. I have Alexander's royal insignia ring. Oh, thank God you remembered. Very good. Please place the ring on Kasima's finger. What do I get to wear? Thunk. Who gives this bride to be wed? Me. Her mother and I willingly give our daughter's hand in wedlock. Who will speak for the groom? I will. Daddy! Alexander's mother and I recognize his marriage to Princess Cosimo with glad hearts and sanction this union. Then, Alexander and Cosima, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Hooray! 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 Oh, I just love that everyone's here. It's, a, it's such a classic trope in all King's Cup games, but I love it. Like the queen and king. Congratulations, my children. I have an important question for you both. Please hear me. Yes, Can this wait till after the Alexander, honeymoon? I welcome you into our family with open arms. I place trust in Alhazred because I so badly wanted a son and a husband for my beloved daughter. I was wrong. But you are true and good, Alexander. You have proven yourself to all my people. Thank you, and sire. We'll give you Alaria and I have been through much, even though we have returned to our kingdom. I do not think we are able to reign again. Will you two consider the crown? I know, as king and queen, you can heal this small kingdom from all the damage that Alhazred has inflicted upon it. Oh, father! Why, I'm honored. What do you think, Kasima? I love my homeland, Alexander. I would be happy to stay and serve it all my days. Father, I believe I'm needed here. Would you be very disappointed if- Nope, stay, please. Son, you must follow your destiny. I do believe the land of the Green Isles needs you. You'll be a magnificent king, though dearly missed in Daventry. Then, I accept. Oh my boy, what a man you've become. And how I will miss you. Don't worry, mother. With Shamir's powers, we'll be able to visit often. I'm not about to forget my family. Mm, congratulations, Alexander. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, dear sister. Oh, Alexander, I'm so glad. Between the return of my beloved parents and our new reign, you've made me so happy. I'm glad I could make up for some of your suffering, my beautiful wife. Congratulations, King Alexander. When we return home to Daventry, your crew will be glad to hear that their battle at sea was worthwhile in bringing forth a new monarch. We were so worried when your men arrived home without you, son. I'm so thankful that you are safe and happy. And I am as grateful that my crew did not pay for my driven heart. You have only brought us all good fortune, sire. With Shamir saved and his power used for good, reuniting the islands will be far easier. He has already repaired the ferry. Your road will be easier now that the islands are no longer feuding. Already the wounds are starting to heal. Yes, my love. Discovering the island's stolen treasures has done more to bring peace to this land than anything else. It is now clear that Alhazred had Shamir steal each of the island's most valued treasures, then blame the thefts on others to cause the islands to hate each other. 
Now let us celebrate our good fortune. The evil that has plagued this land is done, and a new reign begins. Long live King Alexander and Queen Cosima. Long live King Alexander! Long live Queen Cosima! Long live the land of the Green Isles! Hooray! I like how the only one not clapping is the jerk king of the angels. Thanks for your support. Oh my god, the CD version of Girl in the Tower. I forgot about this. Oh, I, I don't even want to talk over it. You seem so far. I just need to hear your voice It's the most 90s thing ever written Peebo Bryson's got nothing on this guy I just need to hear you say If you would have me go or stay But it's so endearing and so cute. All right, well, bye. <laughs> now, can you believe a little bit of trivia? I remember that when that song...
came out, quote unquote, came out on the CD. The, Sierra made like a serious push to get this song played on like the light FM radio waves. And they sent out, I forgot how we got our, the, our, the word was out like on BBS or something, but they sent these CDs to local radio stations and they're like, call up your local radio station and request Girl in the Tower and get it played. And I did. No, I mean, I called, but I don't think it ever got played. But there it is. Girl in the Tower. There, so it's, that's King's Quest 6. King's Quest 6 is over. So we got... I, I didn't think I was going to get a perfect score, but I did. I got every single one. I thought I missed one thing, but I didn't. And it has to do with the dungeon. And I know you guys reminded me. And I, I, I know. I know. Uh, but anyways, but King's Quest 6 is not over. We still got a little bit to do because you saw at the very end it, it actually reminded you and kind of told you and I kind of wish it didn't in a way. I wish you could kind of discover it for yourself, but I'm saying, you know, all right, so you did the main path. That's great. Actually on fourth, maybe they don't tell you that if you didn't get a perfect score. It's like, hey, you got a perfect score. Here's a hint on how to do some more stuff. How interesting. I kind of want to go back and kind of miss one thing on purpose just so we can see. Anyway. So now we have to go back and do exactly what it said. Well, I, I dropped a save before we went to go back and visit the druids, like we said. So we can take the short slash cheater ending and just go right into the castle and skip like, God, almost like a third of the game. No underworld, no nothing. So I'm going to show you that. And we are going to try, we're going to attempt to get, because we just got the absolute best ending of the game. We're going to try and get the absolute worst ending of the game where absolutely nothing gets resolved i think we still get married i don't even know if the game gives us that to be honest so that'll be coming up next time thank you for the comments keep them coming it actually helped me out through a lot of portions of the game like i would have never known that you could just walk into the river sticks and, and kill yourself instead of like purposely trying to like you can't touch it you can't talk to it you can't interact with it but you can just sort of like fall into it that's great so i love it i love you guys so i'll see you next time for the worst ending of king's quest 6 so until then good night jelly beans good night